Lanes has filed another petition requesting a judge vacate his 10 year sentence in regards to shooting Megan the Stallion. Tory believes he's got new life because his bodyguard decided to finally give a sworn statement in the last couple of weeks. Jaquan Smith gave his account on what happened the infamous 2020 night in which Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion seemingly got into an argument alongside Kelsey Harris and Mr. Smith. Something happened. Now that something has Tory in prison for 10 years, but according to Tory Lanez's former bodyguard, Jaquan Smith says, yo, when he looked up, Kelsey had the weapon. He couldn't 100% say Kelsey shot Meg, but he did acknowledge Kelsey was the one that he saw with the weapon in hand and then things happened from there, which has been pretty consistent with what Tory and his team has been arguing. The judge just ain't been buying it. Megan Thee Stallion took to her social medias in the past week to debunk Tory's bodyguard or anybody else that believes she doesn't know who shot her. She flatfoot said, yo, I know who shot me. It was Tory. You should have said, I didn't do it. Kelsey did it. If she did it, why wouldn't you just say she did it? Kelsey, if you did not do it, why won't you just say, I did not do it? I know who shot me. I said who shot me and that's why the you in jail. Y'all motherfuckers are dragging it online like it's some new evidence. There's no new evidence. A three panel judge confirmed the petition will be considered for Tory Lanez pending an appeal it's scheduled for December 26. Most likely this petition will not be ruled on until at least a few months into 2024 due to the amount of time needed for the attorney general's office to file its brief. We shall see if Tory Lanez now can find a way to get this 10 year sentence vacated. I'm listening to some attorneys speak about this case and Tory's appeal and petition this time around, none of the attorneys sounded optimistic that Tory would have this go in his favor because all of the attorneys I listen to kind of stand on the same premise of what took this bodyguard so long to send this sworn statement to the, tr the court. Like this is maybe a, a case of too little too late. And the question that I'm hearing attorneys and legal experts say, yo, why would Tory Lanez and his team ever decide to go forward with this trial by not making sure that bodyguard statement was in before the jury and the judge made their decision on Tory's future. Speaking of that, Tory now has a new legal team as well, by the way, just to throw that out there. Maybe there's something to that. Time, love, and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Tory Lanez, he won't stop fighting for his freedom. Y'all let me know. Do y'all think this time around he will get it as the bodyguard that was with Tory the night that he was with Megan and her friend Kelsey. The bodyguard says, yo, this is my account. I saw Kelsey with the weapon. Not saying she shot Megan, but that's what I saw. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple to be the best there's ever been. So please don't go. make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, I am culture, I am Pharaoh.